I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, I was thinking about uh, what I could do a video on that would impart information. Information, you know. Uh, I didn't want to do just, you know, random vlog. I thought, uh, you know, what would benefit, what would benefit the people? And uh, so I thought uh, I could do some talking about uh, this tea. Yeah, a tea. I decided to make a video about tea. It's what I do. So, um, the tea that I've chosen to talk about is Pat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, for some reason, I decided to open it upside down. <laughs> so, yeah, but I can fold it so I can still show you. Just hope I don't spill any. I hope, anyway. Okay, that's its um, science name. Mm -hmm. It was only $4 for 100 grams. It's a lot cheaper than other herbal products. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this bag is almost empty. As you can see, it's almost empty. It's like to there. But this bag was like full. It was like stuffed to the max. But yeah. See now, now you're probably wondering like, why are you making a video about tea? Like, like what's good about tea. Well, that passion flower um, is my favorite tea because if you are stressed out and you're just like freaking out and you're, I don't know, you're just like, and you're just upset, um, then this tea will help you a lot. Um, it acts as a sedative, so it'll mellow you the fuck out, okay? Like, you'll just, if you have one cup of this and you're not really like, one cup, you should feel it. But, uh, yeah, how I make it, uh, I take, like, probably about, like, that much, like, that much plant matter all at once, like, it's a lot, but I boil it on the stove in a pot with water, duh, <laughs> and I filter it later. Like, I let it boil for probably a good 20, 30 minutes, just to let it, uh, be, I like it really strong, I like it really strong, it's better that way. Better, it's, you get more for your money that way, because if you're just gonna, like, I don't know, it's about a ball for like two minutes or something. It, not as much of the uh, chemicals in the tea are going to seep out into the water, so it just makes more sense that way. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting tea. I like it quite a bit. Um, really helps if you're stressing out. Uh, if one cup is not enough, uh, try two. Um, I wouldn't really recommend drinking, like, three or four. I've done it, to be honest, just to kind of, like, to see what would happen, and you know, just want to go to sleep, like. But, but don't don't think that this this is a tea that, uh, like, it's not gonna like knock you out. Like one cup of it isn't gonna make you so mellow that you're not gonna want to go up. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, like for schoolwork, anything that you s you're stressed about, anything that makes you kind of like gets uh, edgy or high strung. Uh, couple of cups of this and you uh yeah you could like could drop a glass vase or something on the floor no i didn't do this or anything like it. it's just a hypothetical example it, I, 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 this did not happen to me but you could drop like a glass vase on the floor that's like your favorite vase or vase however you want to say it uh, and it could shatter glass everywhere make a huge mess with water and and you'd just be like, what's getting upset about it gonna change? It's not gonna, the more upset I get, it's not gonna cause some kind of magical time loop where the vase is just going to like recalibrate itself, you know? Or reconfigure, whatever. You can say recalibrate. But, uh, yeah, so it'll mellow you out to the point where you won't get stressed about stuff. And I drink this tea quite often. Uh, not every day, but maybe every other day. I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really keep track. I haven't had any today, and I'm fine. But uh, if things happen, like situation, or like circumstantial within your life, then uh, this might help you. Uh, it's a good alternative to other drugs, if you know what I mean. I actually recently quit. Uh, well, not recently. It's been like six, seven months now. Or like a long time. Let's put it that way. It's been a long time. Uh, no smoking. Anything. And this isn't a blog about not smoking, because, like, if you smoke, you smoke. It's your body. That's how I see it. Like, I, don't, I try not to harp too much on other people. I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite, because sometimes I do, if they're, like, if I, if I, if, I, if they seem really dear to me, like, if I, if I just really don't want to see them, like, die of lung cancer, then, yeah, I might. But I'm a hypocrite, because I smoked, you know what I mean? Like, I smoked for, like, over a year. So, I can't really say not to smoke, because I did, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, it's a good alternative to, uh, to smoking, uh, either cigarettes or, uh, herbal stuff, if you know what I mean. Like marijuana. <laughs> but, uh, I don't do that at all anymore. So, all you people out there in YouTube land can't be thinking, oh, he seems like stoner guy or whatever. Because, well, I'm not. I'm a tea guy. Okay. I drink my fair share of tea. <laughs> but uh yeah that's my video for uh for now uh passion flower i'll put some pictures and stuff so you can you can like see what it looks like and uh yeah Mwah. peace out